Hi everyone, I'm Bernhard. Today we had a question in the forum how to pre-populate fields of a new page. Um, I thought it would be nice to create a video instead of uh, writing an answer because things can quickly get confusing and I can also show you um, advanced concepts that I'm using to avoid hook hell and also how I'm using custom page classes and how I attach hooks directly into these custom page page classes so that they don't live inside ready PHP or in init PHP but they live directly inside the custom page class so you can move the page class to another project and everything should just work the same as it worked before. So let's jump right in. Okay so here we have a fresh installation of ProcessWire and what we want to do is we take uh, this uh, dummy JSON API and we will use the quote and the author to populate fields of a newly created page and um, so we create the templates first and let's uh, create a new template quotes and then we create another template um, for the single quote then we set the family settings and um, can be used for new pages yes a lot templates for children quote and a lot templates for parents home name format for children let's use the title for this and then we can set the parent for the quote to this and um, allow children no so we should be set with this one and we should be able to create quotes now and if we go to the page tree and hit new here then we can add new quotes here first quote publish but um, for now uh, the fields are not uh, auto populated and we even don't have the fields that we need so let's create the fields for the quote template and we add another field that we call um, quote and it is type text area and then we set the uh, title field the label of the title field um, and rename that to author and save that so if we go back to our created quote we have the author and the empty quote so if we save that nothing happens of course and now we want to pre uh, pre populate this uh, page by using the API so first we will create the hook in site ready PHP. So we go to site ready PHP and we can create the hook here and say wire add hook after we use the pages save ready hook and then we set the callback that takes the hook event and um, what I'm always doing is a check if it works save ready so use um, tracy debugger the bar dump feature I save that and when I save the page now we have the save ready dump here so we know that the hook is working um, so the next thing we want to do is to um, populate the title field um, with um, a test value let's let's uh, just populate it with foo so the page is in event um, arguments zero so if you don't know uh, what this is doing you can simply bar dump the event and let's try that and see what happens so here we have the hook event and then we can ex in, uh, inspect that using Tracy debugger. Then we see that the hook event has the arguments property and the arguments property with the value zero 
is the currently saved page. Um, the object is processed via pages. This is uh, the pages object that we uh, attach the hook here. And the method is save ready. So the method is save ready. Um, so we attached the hook to the object process via pages. Um, we use the method save ready to attach the hook and we have the argument uh, zero process via page. And now we can modify the process via page that we have in our arguments. And we can say page title equals foo. So if we save that and then we save the page, the um, title property of the page is set to foo. Um, the reason why we don't need to call page save here is because we attach the hook to save ready, which is um, fired slightly before the page is actually saved. So if we modify the property, um, the title property here, then the save happens later. If we change that to pages saved, which means the hook is applied after the page is saved, and we say um, page title is bar. We save that and then we save the page. Nothing happens because um, the page is not saved after the title has been changed. So if we uh, used the saved hook, then we would have to actually save the page again. And that would uh, likely cause an infinite loop. Let's try that. Now it loads forever because uh, this save triggers another time the saved hook and then it tries to change the title again and then it tries to save the page, then it tries to change the title and so on and so on. So um, let's restart ddef. Um, to break the loop. And then we can continue with our actual work. It takes some time. Um, so what we uh, will do next is we will take this uh, random API and we will simply uh, do a get request. And uh, let's change that back to the safe ready version um, that worked. And uh, then we say get uh, dummy data. We use uh, HTTP, the via HTTP uh, class, and then we simply say result equals HTTP get, and then we get the random quote, and then we will uh, do a JSON encode, JSON decode, sorry, and then we check the result that we get. We leave the title foo um, for now. And we have to log in. And yeah, actually, we see that it saved the bar value, but uh, it caused the endless loop. So that was uh, not really helpful. If we save it again, then it will be changed back to foo. And we should see the result of the get request in our tracy bar. So we save it, we have the foo value here and we have the result of the JSON request here with the author and with the quote. So next step, um, we set the title to the results, uh, result um, author and we set the page quote to result quote. Then we don't need this. We save it and we get the quote whenever we save a page. So obviously this will change the quote uh, every time we save the page. So what we will do next is we um, just want to get the, the random quote when the page is created. So you could use the um, pages edit hook. Let's try that. 
um, once a page is added, then we uh, do the get request and let's uh, also do the bar dump to see if it works. So if we save the page now, nothing changes and we don't have any, uh, any, any dumps in the bar. But if we create a new page, then what happens is this, we have an empty page, but we see that the request has taken place. So that's the same as pages uh, saved. Um, we didn't save the page here. So if we do a page save uh, here and we can delete this page and we add another page, it should work now. Yep. So the author is populated and the quote is populated. And once we publish this page, nothing happens. And if we save the page and change the title, uh, nothing happens again because um, the edit hook is only uh, triggered, obviously, when the page is added. So that was the easy part of attaching a hook and a little bit of inspecting hooks. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can combine hooks and custom page classes. Here in this example, we have the current page um, and we can inspect the page by using the Tracy console. And then we see the current page is a quote, but it is actually a process via page. So we can um, create a custom page class by simply adding the quote page.php file. And then we add the process by namespace and we say class quote page extends page. And once we save that, we should already get the quote page. So uh, every quote is now a quote page. And for example, um, we could add a custom method here that says um, render, for example, and then we could uh, return something like, I don't know, h1, this title, and then a paragraph uh, with this quote. So um, there's missing bracket. And if we do now a page render, actually let's call that render quote. Um, we have to save that, of course, and we have to echo the result. Then we have a custom method that uh, renders our quote. And of course, you can not only use that in the Tracy console, but also in uh, all your template files. So that is only one great thing about custom page classes. But the problem is that we now have the hook that does the um, magic on save in the ready PHP file, but the page class is defined in the quote page.php file. So what I'm always doing is that I define the hooks that are um, related to the custom page class directly in the page class. But the problem here is that we cannot um, use the init method. So if you are uh, familiar with um, module development in process wire, then you always have the init method that is triggered on init. Um, and there is also the ready method that is uh, triggered when the process wire API is ready. Um, for our save ready hook, we don't need the page. So um, we can attach it to the init method, but if we do a bar dump init quote, page and we save that and we reload this page we see that there is no dump here 
um, that means that this function is never triggered. So we can't attach the hook here. Um, but we can go to init PHP and trigger it manually. Um, so we say pages get template uh, equals quote init. So if we save that and then reload the page on the backend, we get the dump here and say uh, that says init quote page. So on every init, we trigger the custom page classes init method. And that means we can attach our hooks here. So we can um, remove this hook from ready PHP and we can move it directly into the init method. We just uh, use this wire instead of a wire and then we save that and let's see if that works. We create the new quote and here's the pre-populated fields um, but uh, populated from a hook that really lives in our page class and not in ready PHP. So having a hooks directly in the page class is obviously uh, a good idea because imagine if you wanted to move the quote page class to another project. Now you can simply take one PHP file, move it to the other project and all the business logic will uh, still work. Okay, the next thing um, is to do a little refactoring. Um, what I always do is uh, apply, so place the hook not in the callback, but as a separate method of this um, page class. And let's call it get uh, quote, no, let's call it get random quote. Then we can um, define this method here, get random quote and then we copy the uh, the code from the hook this is the hook event then we correct correct the indentation and we remove that and we save it and we do publish and add another and we get a new quote here. So that's it for today. I hope everything made sense and I hope you like uh, hooks and custom page classes as much as I do and um, happy coding. See you in the forum. Bye.